Welcome back to 2230, your source for in-depth analysis of news and events in the Asian region. Today, we're delving deep into a story that's been making headlines for years, the Goldman Sachs 1MDB scandal. But before we dive into the latest developments, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content like this. The Goldman Sachs 1MDB scandal, involving billions of dollars, is a financial saga that has captured global attention. In 2020, after a monumental settlement, Goldman Sachs admitted to its role in the largest foreign bribery case in U.S. enforcement history. But it seems that the story is far from over. Just recently, Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim, during his visit to the United Nations General Assembly, hinted at fresh negotiations with Goldman Sachs. Anwar's openness to a potential settlement emphasizes the importance of reasonableness and flexibility in these discussions. He's not calling for a complete re-evaluation of the deal, but there are specific areas of concern that he believes deserve attention. Goldman Sachs, on the other hand, has remained tight-lipped about these negotiations. The initial 2020 settlement required the banking giant to pay $2.5 billion and ensure the return of $1.4 billion in seized 1MDB assets, with interim payments of $250 million if certain conditions weren't met. But here's where the disagreements lie. Malaysia is actively seeking the return of former Goldman banker Roger Ng, who's been sentenced in the US to 10 years in prison for his role in the scandal. Anwar believes Ng's knowledge could be a game-changer in the ongoing investigations. So, what's the Malaysian government's beef with the settlement? Well, it centers on two key issues, the settlement's quantum, that's the amount, and the interpretation of specific clauses. Anwar is playing hardball, warning Goldman Sachs not to underestimate the possibility of legal action and stressing the importance of upholding their integrity. Now, here's where I want to hear from you, our awesome viewers. What's your take on this ongoing Goldman Sachs 1MDB saga? Do you think a fair and just resolution can be reached, or do you believe legal action is the only way forward? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's get this discussion rolling. That's all for today's video on 2230. If you found this information valuable and engaging, remember to give us a thumbs up, share this video with your fellow news enthusiasts, and hit that subscribe button so you never miss our latest updates. Stay informed, stay engaged, and stay tuned for more insightful content right here on 2230. And as always, you can follow us on our social media channels for even more updates. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video.